Question 2. Phase difference in AC circuits. A teacher demonstrates resonance of AC circuits with a resistor connected in series to an inductor, a capacitor and an AC supply as shown in the diagram that's here. Uh, she uses a computer to track current and voltage making the following measurements. Uh, so that's useful. This is an LCR circuit. It's got capacitor, inductor and resistor in it. And we're asked to calculate the impedance of the circuit. So impedance is the overall um, uh, <laughs> impedance, the resistance but taking into account all those phase interactions uh, or um, reactance interactions. Um, and that is the RMS voltage, this is Ohm's law but we're dealing with impedance over the current V, uh, v equals I times R, except R in this case is the impedance Z, Z equals V over I, V is, um, what have we got, 10 volts supply at the top, and uh, the current is 0 0.30 amps, gives us 33 um, ohms to 2SF. Um, next one, the computer shows the following graphs. Uh, so this first one here is the current. So that's the current um, in the circuit, I guess. The, this next one is the voltage across the capacitor. And you'll notice straight away that the from the from compared to the peak, um, the peak of the capacitor there is ahead, so it's leading. And the inductor down here is lagging behind where the um, current is. So remember our phase relationships there. B, use data from the table in the graphs to calculate the capacitive reactants, and hence the capacitance of the capacitor. So um, we, we need to, um, we're, we're kind of stepping through this. The final thing we want is the capacitance, which we know is 1 over 2 pi uh, Fc, or um, uh, another way that we might look at that is... Um, 1 over omega uh, and then the reactants Xc. Um, so uh, going back we're trying to find Xc so we're stepping back, see I'm writing this in reverse um, is equal to the voltage across the capacitor divided by the current through the circuit um, and uh, we do know what that is, and that equals 1 over omega C. Um, <coughs> where are we? Scratch that. I'm, 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 you, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it um, is just to work through forwards, which is nice and easy. We're, we're aiming for, in my mind anyway, that's what we're aiming for, and but they want you to find the reactants first. Um, you already know what the, um, what the voltage is, um, so, where are we? The voltage given to the capacitor, you can see it from this chart just up here, is 1 volt. And the current through is the current through in the, the total circuit, which was 0 0.3, which means the reactance of the capacitor is 3.3 ohms. Um, where have we... Uh, XC, sorry. I, I knew there was something that was a little bit bothering me about that. Because um, 2 pi... Yeah, anyway. Omega, Omega XC. Anyway. <laughs> I've got myself. 2 pi F XC. There we go. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. This is the one that we're after. Um, in any case, that gives us um, our value of XC. Omega is 2 pi F. Um, and uh, we've got 2 times pi times the frequency we can work out from the table as well. There are all the frequencies are the same on all of them, but we have two cycles, no, we have one cycle in two seconds, so that gives us a period of, uh, the period is two seconds, the frequency is 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5 seconds, so 2 times pi times 0 0.5, or you could do it as 2 times pi divided by 0 0.5. In any case, that gives you an omega value of, uh, well, it's pi, isn't it? 3.14 per second, radians per second, if you're dealing with that. But substitute that and that into this, and you get the capacitance. 
Um, C is draw a phasor diagram um, and approximately the scale to show the phase relationship between the voltage across the capacitor, voltage across the inductor, and the supply voltage. Using a diagram or any other method, determine the phase difference between the supply voltage and the current. Okay, um, doesn't ask you to draw the phasor for the resistance across the resistor, but I always put that one in, it helps it. Um, and then I know that um, what's uh, for the resistor, the uh, inductor is lagging behind, so that would be VL. And uh, I know that the capacitance, which was much smaller, VC, <coughs> smaller I can tell from these graphs up here. Um, see the capacitance one has an amplitude of about 1, in fact it is, should be 1 volt, same as the measure value before. And 10 volts for the inductor. Going back down, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so, uh, what do we need to know? We need to know that uh, this is 10 volts and this is 1 volt, and therefore when we add them, because that's drawing the phase diagram, we've done this first section, now we'll use the diagram to find um, the phase difference between the supply voltage and the current. Um, so that this is the current flow here, it follows the same angle as the um, voltage across the resistor, um, or I guess the resistor follows the supply, but y you know what I mean, that's the original reference point uh, from where uh, it lags behind. If we go back up to here, um, the current is um, is this one up here, and you can see that sort of sets our central point about which the rest of it lags or leads. Um, so <coughs> we need to add our two vertical ones to get um, our our 9 volts because it was 10 minus 1 in the other direction and then um, we, we know that's 9 Oops, and that is what are we missing uh, oh ok no we don't need to worry about um, I'm, I'm getting myself in a little bit of a bother here this is what we end up with remember um, we've got the um, some sort of an angle there we've got our um, 9 volts and that's our current direction there so that's the angle we're looking for and we need to know the hypotenuse we need to think really carefully about what that's going to be and we can work it out from our original supply voltage value here of 10 volts so that means there's 10 volts always being supplied just at a different phase so it's 10 volts there so uh, what have we got? Sine theta equals uh, 9 over 10. So rearrange that to find theta, which is our phase angle. So it's sine, inverse sine 9 over 10 um, should give us, uh, in radians, 1.1 radians. Lovely. Okay, D. Ex describe how the frequency should be changed to make the circuit come to resonance and explain your reasoning. Well, uh, for resonance, we need to uh, increase um, the VC and so VC has to go up and VL has to go down um, and that means uh, for the voltage drop across C to go up that means XC has to increase and that means XL has to decrease um, <coughs> for that to occur um, we've got C equals 1 over 2 pi F X C um, and L equals 2 pi F X L. Okay, so my X C's and my X L's can. So um, for X C to increase, um, we, we can't actually change our capacitance values, but we can change um, our frequency values. Um, so we look to the frequency to change. Oops, got myself a little bit mixed up once again. That's XC and XL. Um, 1 over 2 by FC. There we go. I think I might have mucked up something related to that earlier as well, but the process should be the same. Um, 2 pi FL. So these two should be the same at resonance. So 1 over 2 pi uh, XC should equal XL. Um, otherwise you don't get the same voltage drop across both um, so you just have to make sure the frequency is the right frequency to balance those two things out so you just make these two equal to each other 
and you work out the value of the frequency that'll that'll provide you with that. Um, <clears throat> so let me see what have we got. Um, XC is proportional to the inverse of frequency, so we want to increase uh, XC. So that means we need to decrease the frequency. So decrease the frequency is your answer. There we go. So that's the main thing. Go by that. Go by that. That you need to increase XC. To increase XC, decrease the frequency. And I'll just quickly go back up to where I was before. There we go. I was mucking up my. This is my marking and my red pen correction over here. Um, uh, XC equals 1 over 2 pi fc um, but also um, because you cross multiply um, that also equals this this section over here will equal c that's not worth the but the same process works so don't worry about that you might like to go back and, and double check find that because um, then you've got the omega part and xc uh, from the v over i and then substitute both of those and it still works thank you very much